Hello and welcome to this quick video on how you read a vernier caliper, specifically the inch scale that's here at the top. Now I've already done a video that explains how you read something like this for the metric scale along the bottom. And these are kind of old school vernier calipers. Well, they're not old school actually. These are just non-digital ones in that you have to just use the sliding scales to read the measurement precisely. And these can actually measure down to really small values of stuff. So this can measure down to one one thousandth of an uh, inch just by sliding these two bits of metal around. Now again, these are fantastic things. You can measure the outer diameter of stuff, you can measure the inner diameter of stuff, and you can even do depth using this piece at the end. So how do you use this top scale here to measure something like inches? Let's use a couple of basic things first before we get into the measurement. You'll notice here along the top that we have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 1. That is an inch. So if I put the 0, which is where you kind of read from, on the inch mark, that distance between the calipers is exactly one inch. And then as you close them up, you go 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7. 6. Let me just very quickly zoom into an image to kind of explain this in a little bit more detail that hopefully will make it a little clearer. So here we are zoomed into that same vernier caliper and here's that same scale along, along the top. And each of these major graduations here is 0.1 of an inch. So 0 0.1 of an inch is here, 0.2, 0.3, 0 0.4, half an inch, 0.6 of an inch, 0.7, etc., up to the one inch, etc., all along the scale. So that means that it's very easy if the zero line that we read from is exactly on one of these lines, we know what it is. Anything from 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, half, right the way up to an inch and beyond. However, one of the things you might notice here is that in between each of these graduations, there are extra lines. What are they? Well, they divide it up into quarters. So that means then if we just zoom in on this piece here between 0.4 and 0.5 of an inch, then each of these represent 25 thousandths of an inch. So this first line is 0.425 of an inch. This middle line between the two is 0.45 of an inch. And this next one then is 0.475. And this is why it's a little bit more complicated. Rather than everything being in simple tenths, things are divided into quarters, but then this is inch land. So let's have a look at an example of how we'd actually use this, because what happens if the zero line that you're looking at falls in between one of these guides? Because if it's more than point 425 but less than 0 0.45, how do you measure that accurately? And that is where this sliding piece comes into play. This also has 25 thousandths written on it. And the way it works is as you slide it around to get your measurement, you're looking for which of the graduations that are on this top sliding piece line up exactly with one of the graduations on the static slide. That will tell you what that additional increment is and you just add it on to the measurement you've already taken. Not clear? Don't worry. Let's go through a couple of examples. So let's imagine that we've taken this measurement. We can see it's just under the one inch mark, but only just. And we know that that's 0 0.9. So that mark there is 0.975 inches. So what is the rest of it? Well, if we just have a look at this. We know that that mark, and it's over that mark, it's 0.975. To figure out how many thousandths of an inch over it is, what we do is we look along this sliding scale and we look for the line that matches up with the lines at the bottom. Now, you usually find that there's two or three around a central one. Uh, this one doesn't look quite perfect because of the parallax of the camera, but this line here, actually matches perfectly with this line on the major scale. It's like one unbroken line. And that is at the 21, 20, 22, 23 mark. So that is 0 0.023 inches or 23 thousandths of an inch. 
So now we just add these two numbers together and that gets us this measurement between these two prongs is 0 0.975, which is this measurement here, plus the extra bit, which is this measurement here. If we add those together, we see that this is 0.998 inches. So using a manual thing like this, we can get down to really accurate measurements. Let's look at another example. So you can see here that it's 0.3 of an inch. It's just over 0.325. And then we need to look along here to look at the line that matches up. And actually it's somewhere around here. So now we know it's 0.325 plus it's gonna be 0 0.05. If you add those together, it's 0.33 inches exactly. And that's how you use it. A little bit more complicated than the metric scale at the bottom, but using it, you can measure down to a thousandth of an inch without having to turn anything on or plug a battery in. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.